Today we are in Budapest and I have got some really fun film to try out. I've got some Lomography Metropolis <laughs> and I will be loading it in the Zeiss Icon Nutter. I've also got 35mm Lomo Metropolis which is very exciting which I will load into the like a seal. All right, so let's go, let's get this film loaded and let's get out onto the streets to shoot. So we are down to our last shot in the size Icon Netter with the Lomography Metropolis.
Let's talk Lomography Metropolis. So Lomography was kind enough to send me a couple rolls to test out uh, while I was on my trip. So they sent me one 35 millimeter roll, which is the one that I shot in Budapest. And they sent me one medium format roll, which I also shot in Budapest. That was awesome. Lomography is awesome. One thing I do want to talk about is the fact that Lomography actually changed the formula. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the differences that I have noticed in sort of like an old role of the old Lomography Metropolis and more roles of the new Metropolis. So if you've shot Metropolis before, if you've seen it, if you have any thoughts about it, let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, let me know what you think about this film. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, how do you shoot it? Because it is a variable speed ISO film, uh, which means Lomography recommends that you shoot it between 100 and 400. So let me know where you do have a preference on where to shoot it, uh, because I don't think I have a preference yet. And I, I don't think I've tried everything. So Lomography Metropolis is known for its really desaturated look. Lomography definitely kept the like look of Metropolis when they changed the formula and they introduced the new formula, uh, that desaturated characteristic. But what I would say is like, it's almost as if you're in a photo editing software and you decrease the saturation slider and you keep it there. But with the new formula, it's almost as if they like then punched up the vibrant slider. So you still have that sort of desaturated look and tones and colors, but they're more punchy. I really love it. I love the new formula. Uh, I loved the old formula, but I think I love the new formula even more. Here is the role of uh, Lomography Metropolis, the old formula. I took these on my old, I used to have an Olympus Mu Zoom. And also something to be said here as well, which kind of is like a standard thing to say in general about like when you're looking at film results, is there are so many different factors that can change the results. So for example, if you develop it a different way, um, I mean, usually labs are very consistent um, with the C41 processing because they have machines, it's very consistent, it's tested. I mean, that is why that that's their like bread and butter. Uh, if you process it at home, it might look different. Like when I've processed film at home in C41 chemistry, it comes out a bit different because maybe I didn't have the temperature consistent all the time. Um, so yeah, and then scanning is a big thing. So like how you scan it will definitely change how the film looks, uh, whether it's lab scanned, whether you scan it at home, and then um, how, like how you treat it in the software, how you convert the colors. Uh, so it can vary widely. I absolutely love this film. I love the different look. I love how it acts in urban settings. And if you are looking for something a little bit different than your standard color negative film looks or vibes, then I would definitely check this out and try it. Lomography has this film in both 35 millimeter format 120 and they've also got it in 110, I believe. I've always loved Lomography as a company. I love their films. I love their ethos and their vibes. Lomography has an entire social media website that is amazing, where there's no ads. You can upload all your photos into galleries and albums, and you can have friends. You can follow people. Uh, you can follow their uploads and their photos, and you can like and comment on their photos. You can hashtag things. Uh, it, it's just this amazing wealth of analog wonder. <laughs>
and knowledge and experimentation and it's just so like there's no judgment there's no gatekeeping let me know your thoughts on anything that i have mentioned or said in this video uh, would love to hear from you. Yeah, that's all for today. I will also make a Lomography Metropolis gallery on my website so you can head there. I will leave the link in the description below. Uh, so you can head there to check out the full gallery if you want to look at all the images on your own time altogether rather than having to like pause the video. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in the next one.